Hi everyone, today we're disassembling the HP 15S FQ5209TU laptop. HP laptops aren't designed to be easily taken apart by consumers, so it's easy to damage the rubber feet and also the case during this process. So if you do manage to damage the rubber feet while you're disassembling the laptop, you can, uh, you can just pick up some new ones off eBay. Although just take your time, try to get your removal tool clearly underneath the feet in order to lift them up with the tape still attached and intact. In this video, I've used a Stanley knife to pick up the rubber feet. Although you can damage the feet this way, so I'd normally recommend using something less sharp to get underneath the feet and pry them up. After you've removed both the front and the back set of rubber feet, you'll find three screws in the back and three screws in the front row, which can all be removed with a small Phillips head screwdriver. And sorry for the next part of the video, it doesn't clearly show the opening process for the palm rest from the base. Although essentially you use your fingers to pry up firmly from the center of the top away from the base. You'll feel it giving way as the small plastic clips on the inside release um, as you're carefully prying it away from the base. And with this process, I wouldn't try to use like a screwdriver or a knife or any sort of hard tool for, to do the separation. Uh, you'll most likely damage the palm rest and you know, the damage on the front of the case will be really obvious. So um, yeah, I'd always use, just try to use your fingers only and you'll feel it as you're prying it up and, it, and the plastic clips start to release. So this video shows this is a brand new laptop being opened for the first time. So this should give you a good idea of what yours will feel like. It's quite, yeah, they're quite tight on the first open. Um, yeah, but always just use your fingers to connect, carefully manipulate it open, pushing from the top front center. And um, yeah, you'll feel it releasing. Uh, when you reach a certain point, then you can just lay it down. It's easy to lay it down to finish opening it up. So once you've got the laptop open, next thing you've got to do is disconnect the battery by removing all the screws and removing the battery entirely from the laptop. With the battery now safely disconnected, you can remove the stock Samsung OEM SSD, which is a PCIe Gen 4 512 gig SSD with a read speed of 3500 megabytes a second and a write speed of 2500 megabytes a second. The stock memory configuration is 16 gig, 2x8 gig DDR4 3200 megahertz memory modules. If you're looking to upgrade the SSD or memory in this computer, generally I recommend working with higher quality brands such as Kingston for memory. For SSD drives, I usually look to WD for the Black Series or Samsung Evo or Pro depending on your particular needs. I've put some Amazon affiliate links in the description to some of the parts that I recommend using with this laptop uh, if you're still looking to purchase parts for yours. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching this video.